There are benefits when you live for Jesus Christ. And I think some people don't understand this. Maybe this is one of the reasons why I guess some people believe that it profits them more to do what is wrong other than doing what is right. So let me tell you some reasons I like when I live for, how can I say this? Let me tell you some reasons that I enjoy or why I like living for Jesus Christ. Security. I think there is so much security when you live for Jesus Christ. Yes, I am not saying that bad things will never happen. I am not saying that you won't die. But I truly believe there is so much security when you live for Jesus Christ, like myself. Maybe I should not say, but there were times that I believe I could have died or got into accidents. I got, I got into some accidents, I believe, but like, I think there were many times when I had close calls. I don't want to give out too much information pertaining to that, but please believe me, there is security when you live for Jesus Christ. Actually, just the other day, like I was doing something and something caught my attention and I avoided something that probably would have been terrible. My Lord. Also, when it comes down to me having problems, I think when some people encounter problems, they may really stress over it. They may really be anxious or really depressed and stuff like that. What helps me, and there are times where I may get really anxious or nervous or scared or whatever, but knowing I can pray about it and bring my problems to Jesus Christ, that really helps me. I believe that helps me be so calm. There are some times when like I may feel overwhelmed. And much of the time, excuse me, I will pray, pray, asking Jesus Christ to calm me down or to take away the anger or whatever. And much of the time, that is how I get calm. So, I believe living for Jesus Christ, Christ, how can I say it? It's like a calming agent, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Also, what I really enjoy, I call it a law, maybe it is a principle. Let's say it is a law. You reap whatever you sow. Now, that can really help you or that can really harm you. For me, I like it because I usually try to do what is right. Yes, sometimes I may do what is wrong. Sometimes I make mistakes, but I usually try to do what is right all the time. So if I am constantly or so often doing what is right, I believe I will continue reaping what I sow. Also, when it comes down to problems, 
when I pray about them, I believe much or all of the time, after time, I guess, it seems like God turns my problems around to where it is not affecting me much or it turns in my favor. Man, there are benefits in living for Jesus Christ. Yes, you may think about fornication, adultery, stealing, cussing, lying, cheating. You may see those things as being being a you may see those things as being beneficial. But I think we all are going to reap what we sow. So if you reap based upon the wrong that you are doing, like how is that benefiting you? Let's say I gain by robbing a bank. But if I reap based upon something evil, how is that gaining? How can I gain if I am taking three steps forward and going back three steps or four? Like, I am losing, right? Why do things in vain? Why place so much effort in trying to do what is wrong and lose? Also, one of the reasons why I like living for Jesus Christ, when it comes down to my health, I believe before when I was doing my own thing pretty much or being lukewarm, I believe my health was so poor, so poor. If I remember correctly for a while, I think I would have to go to the emergency room or urgent care or whatever it is called at least, man, maybe four times a year or more. I am now, I am not on any medication. Like, I can't remember the last time I took aspirin. Sometimes I may get ill, but usually when I get ill, I pray about it. And after time, I get well. So concerning my health, I like being able to pray over myself and by the grace of God, get well. Back then, I used to get so sick breathing problems, this and that and this and that. Like, I don't believe I get half as sick as I used to back in the past. And the funny thing about it, I think some people are so health crazed to where they believe, you know, to stay healthy, you have to eat like celery and carrots and spinach and and exercise every day. Back then, I believe I used to exercise so much. Back then, I was more fit. But I was the most sick back then. I would not say the most sick, but if you compare now to then, I think I am more healthy now. Is it because the way I eat, the way I move around? I don't really exercise at all, hardly at all. I am not nearly as active as I used to be. Kevin, it must be the way you eat. I, I pretty much eat the same stuff. So can I say that so, what can you say? Living for Jesus, 
living for Jesus Christ has benefited me so much. So much. Yes, sometimes it comes to my mind to be with this woman and that woman or do this, steal that, or do something really wicked. But I believe when I think about what I have in Christ now, the benefits I receive, like, why would I go back? Yes, I mess up at times, but what I am saying, going back to that lifestyle. Yes, I thought I had fun when I was doing wrong, but much of what I was doing was empty. Changing women, empty. Doing this, doing that, empty. Going to clubs and bars and stuff like that, empty. Yes, my life may be more boring <laughs> than how it was before, but I feel secure. I am pretty much content. Yes, I may not be as interesting or whatever else, but I enjoy knowing I am in Christ other than seeking for popularity or trying to find that great life some people may be searching for on this earth. Does that make any sense? Also, ultimately, I believe I am in Christ and I believe when I die, I will go to heaven. So you may believe living for Jesus Christ is boring, and it may be for you at first, but you need to renew your mind. Because how can, ultimately, you are living for the devil? How can living for the devil be interesting when so many, which I believe is true, when so many bad things are happening to you? I like fun, but let my fun be clean. I like influencing people to do the right thing. Before, when I was in sin, I used to, <laughs> which is funny, well, not really funny, I used to be, I guess, a teacher back then as well. I would teach some people on how to do what is wrong. And I lost my train of thought. But anyways, there are benefits when you live for Jesus Christ. Like, you are doing what you want, as in wicked things, but are you happy? Do you feel satisfied? Aren't you still empty? If so, why not change over? Does that make any sense? You are doing what you want. You are living how you want. But you are still depressed. You still hate yourself. Your self-esteem is still low. So how are you benefiting from doing what is wrong? Think about that. How can you say living for Jesus Christ is boring when you are living for yourself, actually for the devil, and you are still having a horrible time? How can you see your life as being fun when you are having a horrible time? Please listen. Like, I am fornicating, for an example, which I am not. I am fornicating, I am lying, stealing, cussing, and I look down on people who want to live for Jesus Christ. But at the same time, 
I hate myself, I am depressed, I am always angry, I am spiteful, hateful, mean, vengeful, but inside my mind, I am thinking my life is better than living for Jesus Christ. How weird is that? Ah, oh, let me stop here. God bless you.